Okay, good evening everybody. This is the exceptional McLuhan on Maui uh, conference and uh, sets the show in motion. We work with the ten thunders and the ten uh, parts of uh, Finnegan's Wake. So the first uh, five is the dissolution of the universe of discourse. Uh, and the second uh, is the reintegration at the electronic scene. I mean, that was McLuhan. He said it all the time. The TV is an active medium. The, the, uh, the passive receptive of the... Participatory, yeah. Yeah, very active participatory. But, it, but the, pass, the body looks passive. But the internal cent- cent- central nervous system of the viewer is very engaged to the point it is the screen. They're getting reincarnate on the mobile. Because the media environment is getting so tiny that people think they are free of the media environment. Not the way people felt in the 20s, in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and 50s, where this huge tribal drum was banging on them. And or meme, the and or meme is these machines extending yeah. the machines, not our senses. They're talking to a medium, an older medium content, not to a uh, human chemical. Gary Everett writes that McLuhan, uh, Joyce figured out TV, he's the artist, the any environment TV, and McLuhan was for computer and satellites. Most people identify McLuhan with television, but McLuhan was yeah. dealing with the computer and the, and the satellite and the internet. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Body of Christ. In the internet, this is the mystical body. This was uh, everybody being able to have their own uh, Christ. That's the mystical body. Implies in understanding media that the mystical body about uh, the spiritual continuum, uh, and I'm just trying to articulate that. I say that every famous person you ever heard on TV is a nostalgia figure. And McLuhan was the greatest right. actor of our time because he acted without reacting and he was acting in an invisible theater. 74 or so, he says the instant replay has led to the addiction of the cognitive thrills of pattern recognition. He's now pointing out that pattern recognition has now gone overboard. Right. And that's where he starts pointing out the post-tactile. In uh, Lanier's book, he talks about um, pattern exhaustion. Hey, good evening, everybody. This is, uh, there's just too much going on that doesn't really lead to anything. And so they say Mark Zuckerberg's IPO is coming up in the next year. It might not do well.